Never thought I'd have to make this video. I, I'm being honest with you. I never thought I'd have to make this video. That was common fucking sense. I thought it made perfect sense to everybody in America. Go ahead and break it down. Go ahead and let me tell you about what happened today. Why I'm making this video. Why this video is going to be of a more serious style. I'm not going to be making some shitty ass joke that I find hilarious. I'm not going to try and make you laugh. Because when I heard it, I didn't find it funny. I almost shit myself. Now, we, now that you understand the tone that this is going to be in, I guess I gotta tell you. Okay. So, if it's not a law, then it 100% then it should be okay. Because it's common fucking sense. Okay, I don't give a shit. I do not give a singular rat's ass. Okay? When it comes to something that you find absolutely fucking important. If I'm... If there's a fire call. If I'm in a, if I'm in a fire apparatus, whether it's the brush truck, the squad, the heavy rescue, the engine, the water tender. Your fucking dip run, your fucking hormone treatment, I don't give three rat's asses about it. You were nowhere near as important and wherever the fuck you're going is nowhere near as important as where I'm going. If I'm in a fire apparatus with the lights and sirens going. If you think, oh, I'm out of fucking stokers, I need myself a dip. You're not. No. If you're one of those fucking trans, if you're one of those people who, don't, who are, you know, who makes up a new gender every other Tuesday and claims to be that, then no, you're nowhere near as important as where I'm going. You're wherever the fuck you wherever you think you are. Unless you are a firefighter, a medic, military, or police. If you're not any of those, then you are nowhere near important as me in the case of a fire. Or an accident. Okay? No. Why the fuck am I making this video? It's a video I, I hoped I never had to make. It's a video that never crossed my mind. Okay? It's a video that I never thought. Okay, I never fucking thought this was going to happen. I never thought. I thought it was common fucking sense. 207, what we were called into, we were called into Wilmington for tanker support. They needed water. Okay. Now, for the people who don't actually understand how things work, okay, don't worry, I'm about to break it down for you. Okay. We can just pull the, you know, we can pull water from the hydrant, no problem. But if it's a massive fire like what we had up there, and it can actually negatively affect other buildings, right? Lines can decompress. You know, water heaters can actually blow up because they, because all the water they had just turned to fucking steam. And they blew up. Okay? And they were, in up there, they were feeling it. They were feeling the effects of us pulling that much water. We were pulling a lot of water because it was a massive fire. And, and even that wasn't enough. So they called in for water. So they called in for tanker support. 
They needed water. It was a massive structure fire. I do believe it was an Amish house. Okay. Not going to get into what happened up there. I wasn't there. Okay. I was at home. I was out of service. I had a beer. Okay. When you, when you have a beer, you're out of service for your, an hour. Okay. And I had and I cracked a beer about five minutes before the uh, tones dropped. So, eh. Shit happens. Shit does happen, doesn't it? Shit happens when you don't want it to, or when you think that everybody else knows the laws, or basic human decency. Time for me to tell you what happened. So, we respond, so, Ben Mattis, wonderful firefighter. I trust him with my life. I've you know, when he, I have been in the vehicle when he's driving multiple times, and he's a good driver. Okay? He knows how to push trucks. He knows how to push them to their limit. And the vehicle he, the water tender he took was my baby girl. I call her my baby because... She's, she's the one truck, she's the one vehicle that I can always rely on, okay? Yeah, she was an old girl, but damn it, a Mac is a Mac. Of course, I'm talking about the beautiful 1970s Mac 207, the truck that I hold near and dear to my heart. I don't know how many, I don't know how many days, you know, I don't know how many days I've spent in that thing in the summers. Paul and water. Okay? And it's totaled. Some ignorant driver totaled it. A driver went ahead and broke the frame, broke the chassis. <clears throat> they totaled it. Okay? Now, it would be one thing, you know, if the truck was sitting there, right? Maybe they didn't see it, right? Maybe they didn't hear it. Maybe, you know what, heck with it. I'm going to put it in the best terms possible, okay? Which, I'm going to put in the best terms for that driver not to, not to even know that there was a fire and that there was a fire apparatus moving anywhere, okay? It was foggy, you know, it was raining, foggy, and just all sorts of shit, and they couldn't hear the siren, they couldn't see the lights. Okay? That wasn't the weather we had today, was it? It was sunny. Not a cloud in sight. Okay? It was hot. It's a beautiful day for fishing or going or going out for a swim in a pool, boating, general outdoor activities. Not the foggy, rainy, hog shit that okay. And you're and somebody and I've got the feeling that I'm gonna have to nip this I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to kick the butt right now. Somebody might say Well maybe they didn't have the lights on. Maybe they didn't have you know, maybe they didn't have the siren on. No. No. When we were on a call, lights, yeah, the things that blink above, you know, the things that are attached to the cab, that to tell everybody, hey, you know, a, a visual, hey, we're on. And the siren, the audible, you know, hey, move to... Uh, Move to the side of the road. I might need to. I'm in a. I've got a place to be. I am a fire truck going to a call. Your fucking issues are nowhere near as important as what's as whatever I'm going to. Literally. Okay. What did one driver do? Take a wild. 
I think I told you, she wrecked into 207. Totaled it. Yeah. My baby girl. Totaled. Gone. Poof. Bye. By an ass wagon driver. And before you comment, Ben is alive. Ben, the way the accident, the way the, the way they told you know, the cab was actually touching the tank, which normally shouldn't happen. Okay, they were angled like this. Okay, Ben did not go to the hospital. He didn't need to go to the hospital. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Water tenders are. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get into this right now. Water tenders and ladders are different. They are in their own category of hazardous. Okay. More firefighters have died driving water tenders and ladders than any other type. Okay. So in Christ Ben is alive. If Ben went to the hospital it would be even more serious. I'm not going to think. Uh, I'm not going to think about what happened if he died. I'm not. No. No. No, I, I can't. Okay. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this point very clear. Very fucking clear. Just because you see lights and sirens, just because you see the lights and you hear the sirens and the vehicle goes past you, you are not to think that you're some fucking Dale Earnhardt Jr. You are not some fucking speed racer. You are going to remain at the speed limit. If not, a little bit low. And be ready to turn off to the side. Because if that, because if Ben would have died, this department would be in shambles. Okay. Ben is an experienced driver. Okay, he wasn't some he was some city fucker who doesn't know how to drive a stick. Okay. He's not some wannabe either. Okay, he knows what he's doing, and then Christ, he's alive. Then Christ, he's in the hospital. Okay, I, I can't imagine what would have happened. I can't. This video is of, this video is different from the ones I've posted in the past. Those ones are lighthearted. Those are kind of funny. Those are shitty. This one, I did. I didn't think I had to make it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I never thought I'd have to make a video about why you shouldn't, you know, think the road is yours when the fire truck goes past you. I didn't think I had to say that the fire truck is not your personal, you know you know, get to your hormone treatment or whatever, okay? I never thought, it never even crossed my mind. But the fact that I have to make this video clearly states something. Okay. It's not like it, you know, People, I'm at a loss of words. Okay, um, so 
Once again, I'm looking directly at the camera for this. Next time you hear lights and sirens, next time you hear the sirens, see the lights, and you see a fire truck or an ambulance or a police officer, pull off to the side of the road. You're nowhere near as important. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.